Hey everybody, this is Ian Westerman. I'm the head pro at EssentialTennis.com, where it's our mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate tennis players just like you. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to deal with that low short ball. It's kind of in an awkward spot, drops well below waist height. We sometimes have a tough time getting to it. Frequently this is after a backspin shot was hit by our opponent, or maybe we didn't quite read their shot right. It was quite a bit lower and shorter than we thought. And today's topic comes to us from Bruno on YouTube. Bruno, thanks for the, the question on this. So we're gonna talk about the two main elements that will lead to success for you. We're gonna talk about the technique of this swing, and we're also gonna talk about the footwork. First, let's talk about technique. I'm gonna go up to the service line. So the key technical element here is the direction of your swing. The direction of your swing needs to be predominantly vertical, meaning upwards as opposed to forwards. If your swing is predominantly lateral to the court surface, then you will always struggle with either hitting this shot a little low, which results in hitting the net, or just a little high, which results in it going too far. Or you'll have to just always kind of guide this in and you won't be able to really accelerate at it. So what I want you to think about here is think about having like a wall right in front of yourself, right where you're making contact. And as the racket comes up to meet the ball, even if it's just around knee height or so, the racket should be moving up to contact and then continue upwards and around over to your other side. Now, you can hit this with a reverse follow through as well. Generally speaking, I'm not a big fan of the reverse follow through. Uh, it absolutely can be viable, especially for certain situations like this one, but you don't have to use it to hit this, this shot well. So that's the main technique element here. You can practice this by just simply dropping balls to yourself right around the service line. Start with the racket head dropped nice and low and just let the ball bounce from like waist height. Make contact low and then come up and around to the other side. And what you want to look for is a very nice shape to your shot. It should have a good amount of curve to it. So really relaxed arm hand, drop the racket head, drop the ball and just come straight up. If the ball floats more than you want, then simply close your racket face a little more on the next one, but continue accelerating upwards very aggressively. The second main element at play here is footwork. Footwork is crucial. You need to maintain your balance, and you also need to be able to move your momentum through the shot smoothly. The big mistake that a lot of players make is they'll run up for this short ball, try to get themselves set, and they stop their feet, and then they try to hit from this stationary static position. You wanna flow through this shot. So the pattern, or rather one pattern that you can use, is to approach the ball, use your outside foot to set up, load up, step in, hit, and then just kinda of come up and hop a little bit off your front foot. So again, back foot load, front foot hop, and then you can smoothly continue your momentum forwards. This helps keep your body flowing through the shot and also helps create a little bit of that bend to get below the ball and a little bit of lift to lift it over the net. Here's a couple of examples. Thanks for watching, I hope this was helpful. Bruno, thank you so much for the great question. We have some coaching for you. If you'd like to develop the most accurate and precise forehand and backhand ground strokes that you've ever had, click the link in the description right down below and you can get some of our best coaching for just a buck. So check that out. If you have any comments or questions related to what you saw today, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, do us a favor and click like. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and good luck with your tennis. For hundreds of free digital tennis lessons, head over to EssentialTennis.com right now. More wins and more fun on the court is right around the corner. You'll even get a free gift just for stopping by. Simply click the link at the top of any page.